हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम अगेन इन आवर वीडियो लेसन एज वी हैव स्टार्टेड आवर डूइंग रिविशन वर्क एंड वी आर डूइंग रिविशन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर फोर दैट इज वाटर एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन रिविशन अप टू द सॉल्यूट सॉल्वेंट एंड सॉल्यूशन इन द लास्ट वीडियो लेसन so in today's video lesson i will start doing the revision of from the topic water pollution as you know that nowadays we are uh, facing so many problems of uh, due to pollution air pollution water pollution soil pollution etc mm -hmm. sound pollution that is called noise pollution so many types of pollutions are there so one of them is water pollution so what is pollution pollution means contamination of unwanted things to air water soil is called you can say them as a pollution so by the definition in your book the contamination of water with unwanted substances that causes harmful effect on live in living and non living things both are called water pollution and the substance that causes water pollution obviously they are called water pollutants so water pollutants may be from we generated from uh, domestic waste industrial waste some chemicals detergent grease oil spills agricultural waste are the major sources of water pollution when water gets polluted they produce false smell uh, they add color to the soil water they uh, the taste of the water become bad and obviously they are harmful for consumption so one by one we'll see the causes of water pollution first is the agricultural waste as you know nowadays farmers are using lots of chemical fertilizers to grow their crops very fast manner ultimately and uh, some pesticides insecticides are also being sprayed on over the crops when these are the pesticide insecticide and fertilizer artificial fertilizers are washed away by the rain water and get deposited in the nearby water bodies and also sometime under ground water they causes water pollution okay and they give an adverse effect on aquatic plant and life animals life both next is the industrial waste the as uh, industries also need lots of water for their production work so sometime uh, the contaminated water that is harmful water that uh, comes out from the industries sometime these waters are very hot also the temperature of these water coming out from the industries suppose thermal power power plants the temperature of water is quite more than than uh, the normal temperature okay they contain some chemicals in them they contain some harmful uh, things all may uh, uh, metals and non metals also sometimes like mercury so when these water are released to the nearby water bodies they pollute it and obviously kills aquatic plant and animals next is the domestic waste major source of water pollution now in domestic lot of water is used daily in uh, washrooms bathroom toilets we are using water for uh, cooking wa washing clothes then uh, cleaning the utensils all this water goes to the sewers and this from sewage water or the domestic waste uh, ultimately the water uh, the dirty water is released to the nearby water bodies again which causes the pollution to the water and which is very harmful obviously for both aquatic organisms next oil spill what is oil spill actually oil spill is not so uh, has not been done in so regular basis but sometime it happens as you know uh, water transport is the cheapest mode of transport so a lot of crude oil are taken uh, transported from one country to another country by Uh, water waste okay but sometimes some due to some accidental way their leakage 
comes out and sometimes uh, underground pipelines also are there which are goes uh, deep uh, from the sea water and there also due to some leakage what happens these water are get mixed with the what uh, what this oil mix into the water in the seas and oceans and they pollute it okay since what uh, these oils are lighter than water so they float over the sea or ocean water that is called oil spill then thermal water pollution just now i told you thermal about thermal water pollution one the water that are coming out from suppose uh, thermal power plants the this the temperature of this water are quite more than that of the normal water but when it, this hot water is released to the nearby water bodies it will increase the temperature of the uh, temperature of the water in the water bodies obviously which affects the life of plants and animal both living in that water bodies so always they have adverse effect on it so nowadays the uh, one case study is given the lung, uh, the ganga the longest river in india provided an example of extent of water pollution in the country anti test sewage waste and from hospitals industrials dumps into this river all long into length the yamuna one of the main tributaries of ganga is also affected due to this problem such as a high level of pollution severely affect the aquatic life then uh, water uh, often gets contaminated contaminated by human and animal feces which are contain pathogenic or disease causing microorganism like protozoa bacteria viruses drinking contaminated water into dead this leads to the water borne diseases what are water borne diseases there are so many type water borne diseases suppose one is the diarrhea it is a disease of our stomach it uh, le leads to the dehydration diarrhea may lead to the if it is chronic acute diarrhea the person suffer from short durations and get better but chronic diarrhea person suffer for a long time and become very weak then gastroenteritis it is a water borne disease which is uh, in which what stomach uh, and the small intestine get in uh, inflamed <coughs> and the release and the reason for the inflammation may be toxin produce a certain viruses bacteria and other parasites this causes to the loose motion vomiting and little or no urination also <coughs> then is jaundice it is another water borne disease that affect the liver and can prove fatal it leads to the time also just a minute yes next is uh, the prevention and reduce water pollution what we can do to uh, to protect water and uh, control the water pollution so first of all the toxic the treating toxic domestic and industrial waste before releasing them to the water bodies in the effluent to the water treatment plant which removes the harmful chemicals maintaining a septic tank system to avoid leakage and resulting contamination to the underground water we use septic tank septic tank figure is given in your book in this septic tank the uh, waste water get accumulated in the septic tank for two chambers are there tank 1 and tank 2 in the first chamber tank uh, the main sludges get deposited at the base the effluent are left and scum is floated over and this floated over water goes to the another tank sedimentation tank after that the scum and the other uh, sewage can be taken out time to time from the uh, these uh, septic tanks next is eutrophication is a process in which water become uh, overly rich in nutrients as a result there is an excessive growth of under water green plants which resume most of the uh, dissolved oxygen in the water okay so uh, enrich of the nutrients in the water leads to the growth of underground green plants mac more 
which consumes lot uh, most of the dissolved oxygen in the water and this condition is called hypoxia which leads to the death of aquatic animals so excessive use of fertilizers and pesticides uh, give rise to the eutrophication and therefore should be replaced with the organic manure compost next is avoiding washing and cleaning clothes in utensils in the nearby water bodies avoiding open disinfection also so most of the places in our country we see in the bank of the river people living they go to the water river and they wash their kettles they wash their clothes they wash their utensils everything they are doing they sometimes taking bath most of them take taking bath with soap this leads to the water pollution so it should be avoided and now we have to make aware about the pollution to the people and say they know you should not do this so we have to make the people aware also so awareness program should be enforced also so strict information pollution control rules and regulation is laid by the government but who follow those rules so if they follow the, there will be no pollutions <clears throat> next uh, conservation of water so water is very precious to us so we should conserve because as we in the beginning of the chapter we have seen how much uh, percent what is the percentage of water that is fresh water and which is a uh, potable water so it is very important to conserve water because we cannot use the salt water salty water of the seas and oceans so to control fresh water what should we do avoid over watering of gardens and flower pots uh, preventing uh, water leakage and from taps and pipes planting more and take more trees that means we should promote a forestation and stop deforestation so we can do rain water harvesting also because since it is a way to uh, store rain water in nearby water reservoirs in tanks in uh, lakes ponds we can store them the rain water so we can do and minimize the wastage of water while uh, brushing teeth and washing utensils we should not uh, do the brushing washing clothes in running water we should close and when we need we should open the tap so if we follow these rule uh, these things we can uh, definitely will be able to conserve water so students we, uh, it is a duty of every citizen of a country to follow this things to conserve water it is a not a work of one it is a work of everyone but if we think if they are not doing what why should i do that thinking is very bad if we control myself if i control myself then i can be an example for other also so try to do this okay thank you students so our chapter 4 revision is completed In the next video class we will do the revision of another chapter and your exams are knocking at the door only i think uh, 13 14 days are remaining so go through the chapters properly and if you get any sort of doubts please do ask me in your online classes and also you can text me and do it the regular homeworks that i am giving you it will be 100% beneficial for your final exam thank you very much see you again in the next video class thank you